What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, Glow Life Jose. As you can see, it's morning time. I'm finna start my drive in a hot second. But man, I want to just tell y'all about out here in a certain part of uh, Mississippi, bro. It's, it's still it's still racism, racism out here. I just experienced an altercation. Just being inside a truck stop, uh, grabbing some water, and the man just, a white man gonna come in from the, uh, the the uh, car side and go straight to the counter as if he didn't see me. And the first thing he gonna say is, you was on the floor. And I manager, I was picking my case of water up to put it on the counter, y'all. Now, it's so sad that a lot of white people around the world think they privileged just because they white. And, and it's kind of sad because they think they better than black people, but I'm, I'm here to let you know that you white people out there that think you better than black people, you will never succeed and you will never gain nothing in life because you got a mindset of stupidity, stupidness. But other than that, that's today's message for this morning. If you woke up this morning happy, stay happy. If it's not, I'm not, I don't live in no, uh, just a black and white world. The world is very colorful. As you can see, I got a blue shirt on. So if, if you woke up mad as hell and you white, learn the only race in the world, there's only human beings in the world. But other than that, I'm finna get back to my drive. I'm gonna capture the good and, and the bad, no matter what it is. Like, I, person, I wish a person would. But other than that, I'm gone this morning. I've talked enough. i see y'all inside my truck. See, I'm pulled over at the way station. The DOT cop said something about my fifth action. I don't care. I'm gonna put them all on camera. Just let y'all know where I'm at. He talking about shutting me down for 10 hours. I'm not going. I'm gonna holler back at y'all in a second. What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Sad to say this, but it's a good thing that the DOT officer pulled me over because I seen he pointed out that I was finna lose a whole braking system on my fifth axle on my left side. I guess the, the load is that heavy to the point where it's breaking the braking system out of place. So I gotta go to a mechanic shop and get that fixed. Shout out to this officer right here. He a cool officer, you know me. I'm not really too fond of officers, but this a real cool DOT officer. Find out he the chief out here in Mississippi, so he doing this thing. Shout out to him. But other than that, I'm gonna have to go get this breaker system fixed before I even hit this road again, y'all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all in a hot second. What's going on, y'all? As you can see, your boy is out of service. Thank God I ain't getting no tickets, but as you can see, I'm out of service. But a sticky note. But other than that. I'm finna show y'all what's wrong with the truck. As you see, those new windows are This is our third axle. Brake chamber on that side. Both of these slack adjusters. You see the brake chamber that's at the bottom? Both of those gotta be readjusted. As you can tell. See? Gotta be readjusted. Now, if you look at this one, this the one that's very noticeable, y'all. So you come to the back, see that right off the right off the socket, right off the socket. Got to be readjusted. All three of these got to be readjusted. This one got to be changed. 
change because I got a hole in it. And the back is off. And yeah, just like that. You can get put out of service, but at least we ain't getting no tickets for getting put out of service. You just tell them what's wrong with the truck. Very cool officer. Y'all already know what that means. It's time to get that fixed. So we can get back to the road. The sad part is, I don't think I'll be able to uh, drop my load today. It kind of sucks. But at least we're going to get these brake chambers fixed and in the right spot. See? He said it's a hole at the bottom of it. The other brake chain is good. That's what the truck is set. The good thing is, there's a hole somewhere at the bottom of it. But in reality, it needs to be changed out anyway. So, other than that, appreciate the officer in Mississippi and out here in Mississippi, uh, keep forgetting the name. It's D E. S-O-T-O, Desoto. So the good thing is, this, that officer out here at this way station, cool. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. Nine times out of 10, he either gonna tell you what's wrong with your truck before he even give you a ticket. So other than that, I see y'all when the mechanic get here. YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Shit, we're on TV, man. What's going on, y'all? Look at these two men, man. They helping me get back together, man, as y'all can see. See that dog biting on my my brake my brake jack. What's that called again? That's it's the brake. Shoot. Up here, the your mountain spider is pretty ate up. Damn. I Both see sides that. Of so I'm gonna need a new one of these. Yeah, place that new wax. Ooh. But right now, I'm gonna be able to put a bushing in it. Jack, you need to stay on top of it. Make sure it stays greased and that bushing stays good. Okay. Then. If you have another one cut into it like that. Uh -huh. You're we'll be buying the axle. Oh, right. And been so much slack in it, it don't eat to. Slack that's correct, too. Right, right. I see what you're saying now. Is the other side good, then? The other side's good. The other side's good. But, uh, whenever you get back to your home destination, uh -huh. I, I would suggest carrying it to your local shop and having new bushings put in all your S cams. New bushings put in yeah. all the S cams? Okay, then. Like this S cam, you can see it. It's laid out. I'm going, to, I'm going to replace that. It's all laid up. Oh, wow. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. Nice. Egg shaped in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Man. Well, it got to be done. Yes, sir. Well, I think when you get back home, it'd be a good idea to have somebody do the other three. Okay, then. Cool. Bushings ain't that big of a deal, but it, it make a big difference in your lifespan. No, it definitely does. It makes a difference in how long your brakes will live, too. Because okay. it'll keep them sitting level. When they're gone like that, your brakes are pivoting from side to side and make them wear funny. Okay, I see what you're saying. Man, so that one was hanging? Yeah. Oh, wow. The bottom one was completely gone. Bottom was gone, y'all. Y'all see that? Hey, that's why you got a pre-trip every morning, man. I just so happened missed the whole pre-trip this morning. And this is what happens when you, when you miss a pre-trip. But thanks to these five gentlemen, they are mobile. If you ever get stuck at a way station like B, they will come out to you guys. Premier truck and trailer repair, 901-292-9416. Come check them out if you ever in the Memphis area. If you're in the Memphis area, close to uh, the Mississippi area, they will come out. But you can't be too far. Or Arkansas, they said they come out to Arkansas. Hey, so y'all can count on these guys to come out to y'all guys, man. But other than that, I'll see y'all in the next next couple of minutes when they get done putting stuff together. I'll show y'all the finished product when I'm done. All right. All right, y'all, I'm back, man. I'm all good to go. See the new adjustments, see everything. Man, tell me I gotta get new, uh, new, all new bearings for the S-cam, so that's why. These brake chambers that y'all see, so in the back you know it's four. Eight. Eight. Eight.
be on the ground, y'all. Not like that. But when you're doing on the operator, and you're doing flatbed, you're gonna find yourself jumping up and down a lot. Other than that, I see y'all when I'm in my truck. dropping my load out here in Ohio. I ain't never get a chance to film or anything. This day two, by the way, so yesterday and today is gonna be one video. But as you can see, I'm on my way to uh, Newark, Ohio, pick up this load. I forgot where it's going, but when I find out where it's going from my Raycon, I'll be able to let y'all know a better update of what's going on. But other than that, I'm gonna get back to driving, and I'll see y'all. What's going on, y'all? As y'all can see, I'm out here in Ohio. At my place to get picked pick up my my second load that's going back to uh, Texas but ain't nothing I can do right now that black truck up there he just got done being loaded now I'm just waiting for them to tell me that I can get in my position and get loaded but other than that I see y'all I see y'all when I get back in the truck because I'm gonna film me uh, get loaded up so stay tuned Alright y'all, as y'all can see, they stapling plastic down so the load won't get damaged. It look like some type of drywall or whatever they use, some type of housings or building. But I really don't know what it really is. Hey, 